was the last thing you ate? Was it a meal or just a quick snack on the go? When you ate, were you present with your food? Did you take time to savor the different flavors and textures? And if you shared your meal with someone else, did you engage in meaningful conversation? Don't worry if your answer to these questions is no. After all, we live in a busy world and between long work hours, household chores and personal obligations, it can be difficult to find the time and headspace to mindfully engage with the food we're eating. I noticed this recently after a stressful work day. Even though I took the time to cook a nice dinner, I was still so wound up from work and cooking that I ended up mindlessly gobbling down the food without even enjoying it. Have you ever watched a child eating food? Children are often naturally slow eaters. And while this might be quite infuriating to parents who are on a schedule, it's worth noting that the pace at which we eat our food is not necessarily something we naturally developed, but rather something we learned and as such can also unlearn again. Embracing the art of slow eating is a gift we can give ourselves in this age of stress and hustle. It allows us to reclaim one of the most simple pleasures of life, eating, and foster a closer connection with ourselves, our loved ones, and the nourishing sustenance that feeds both our bodies and souls. Let's have a closer look at the many benefits that slow eating has to offer. Many times it happened to me that I finished a meal only to realize that I didn't even remember what it had tasted like. I've been so lost in thought that the act of eating became automatic and I hardly paid attention to the food in front of me. This is especially frustrating when it was a meal I'd been looking forward to all day. The practice of slow eating encourages us to connect to our senses and become fully present in the moment. It invites us to pay attention to each bite to appreciate the textures, aromas and flavors that dance on our taste buds. But of course, as with any other mindfulness practice, it's important to keep in mind that slow eating is just that, a practice. In our busy lives that are filled with obligations and distractions, we have to keep reminding ourselves to take a breath, sit back and become fully aware of the food in front of us. However, when we incorporate slow eating as a mindfulness practice into our day-to-day, -day, the effects might just spill over to other areas of our life, enhancing our overall presence and awareness. I find that I tend to eat faster and less consciously the more stressed I am. Yet it's precisely in times of stress that we should focus most on mindful eating, because eating slowly and consciously can actually help us feel more relaxed and calm. That is because slow eating activates the parasympathetic nervous system, a network of nerves in our bodies which is responsible for relaxation, conserving energy and maintaining our internal balance. It decreases our heart rate and lowers blood pressure, counteracting the effects stress typically has on our bodies. Slowing down to eat can also prompt us to reflect more broadly on the pace of our lives. It reminds us that life doesn't have to be a constant rush and that there is value in taking our time to relish the small pleasures that nourish us physically and emotionally. Eating tasty, nourishing food is one of the most joyful experiences we can have. This has both neurological and cultural reasons. When we eat something delicious, our brain releases hormones like dopamine or serotonin, often referred to as the feel-good hormones. Dopamine is associated with motivation, movement and reward. Serotonin with happiness, focus and calmness. The release of these chemicals in our brain creates a positive emotional experience, contributing to the joy we feel when eating tasty food. However, food also has emotional significance beyond its nutritional value. Many cultures and traditions associate certain flavors or dishes with comfort, celebration and positive memories. This emotional connection can intensify the joy we experience when we eat familiar and delicious foods. Long story short, eating good food makes us feel good. And the more attention we pay to the food we're eating, provided that we like the taste of our meal, the more enjoyment we can get out of the experience. 
Moreover, slow eating also encourages us to be grateful for the nourishment we receive. Taking a moment to reflect on the journey of our food from farm to plate can enhance our sense of appreciation for the effort and resources that go into providing sustenance for us. Did you know that digestion already begins in your mouth? Chewing food slowly and thoroughly breaks it down into smaller pieces, making it much easier for your stomach to digest. By taking the time to chew our food properly, we reduce the workload on our digestive system and minimize issues like bloating and indigestion. Yet not only does the practice of slow eating promote better digestion, it also allows us to develop a more profound connection between our body, mind and the nourishment we provide it. There exists in us a beautifully orchestrated process that helps regulate our appetite and eating behavior. When your stomach is empty, it releases a hormone called ghrelin. As more ghrelin enters your body, you get hungrier. And once you start eating, ghrelin levels drop again, leaving you feeling satisfied and full. However, it takes some time for ghrelin levels to decrease after you start eating. If you eat too quickly, you may not give your stomach enough time to tell your brain that you're full. As a result, you might continue eating past the point of satiety and end up feeling uncomfortable and sluggish. By eating slowly and mindfully, we're able to listen to our body's hunger and fullness cues. This makes slow eating a wonderful opportunity to cultivate a deeper connection with our bodies. Finally, slow eating isn't just about paying more attention to the food we eat, but also to the people we eat it with. I'm really lucky to live in a country where eating together is an important part of our culture. When I was growing up, it was very important for my mother to make sure that we always had at least one meal a day together as a family. And now I share a meal with my boyfriend at least most days. When we take our time to eat, we naturally engage in discussions, share stories and connect to each other on a deeper level. By savoring our meals, the act of eating becomes a more deliberate and cherished occasion, fostering a sense of gratitude for both the food and the people who are present. So the next time you share a meal with someone else, put away distractions like phones or TVs and focus your attention on each other. Engage in conversation and listen actively to what others have to say. Through the simple act of slowing down and being fully present, you'll not only nourish your body, but also your relationships. The shared experience of slow eating can become a cherished ritual that deepens your connection and reinforces the importance of togetherness in a fast-paced world. In this video I wanted to show you how even the most simple everyday act of eating offers an amazing opportunity to cultivate a closer connection to the present moment, to ourselves and the people around us. Thank you so much for watching! Let me know in the comments whether you also practice slow eating and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos coming soon. I wish you a wonderful day, until next time, bye!